Hello YouTube, this is Silver Age Dave. I'm in downtown Bowling Green, Ohio. Uh, it says right here on the sign, one of America's best college towns. It is a great little town. They're doing a lot of construction right now on their street and their sidewalks. Uh, I think some infrastructure uh, upgrades. But I'm here in front of Cameron's Comics. It is new comic book day. And, and as I've said before, I'm not buying new comic books. So that's why I'm not here right now. Uh, it's almost 10 o'clock, that's when they open. So I'm waiting for the little sign to flip and I'm gonna go in there. And I think my downfall is gonna be attributed to Jim's Comics. Uh, one of the best, or Jim Comics, not no S, uh, one of the best YouTube sites. I mean, the guy's just exploded and it's no wonder. So much information. Literally, if you watch his two videos a week, you get to know everything happening with current comic books and uh, he does a nice speculation part on his videos too so anyway uh, that's what I'm doing right now this is actually my second LCS I'm hitting today so I'm a I'm a glutton I guess so much for not buying new comics if I'm at the new and improved Cameron's comics uh, I've been talking to John the last few weeks about updates he's wanting to make to his store and I walked in today and lo and behold he's already busting it um, he's opened the middle of the store up. He's got some more comic racks going in. Hey, John, how are you today? Hey, Dave, morning. And uh, so, as I said in my earlier videos, I'm not buying new comic books anymore. So, um, you know, there's no reason to you know, wait outside till they open. Well, that's what I bought today. I'll, I'll come back to those. But basically what John did, these racks here used to be lined up down the center. And they kind of... Um, uh, they kind of split the store because uh, they, they had some height to them. Uh, the display cabinet back there with the Joker on it, uh, Joker 68 shout out, uh, that used to be up here in the front. Uh, this rack used to be in the front. And uh, What's ended up happening is he's got so many great new comic books. He bags and boards every single comic book that comes in this place. Every new comic book, when you buy it, there's no spine ticks, there's no damage. Everything's bagged and boarded, which I love 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 that that benefit that is super uh and so that's the wall eventually he's going to have the past six months uh all the new comics he's building two shorter racks that are going to be oh maybe three four foot tall those are going to come down the middle so he's going to have a lot more new comic book display uh he's got the new releases rack back here where it's easy to find uh everything's always out you know visibly this is a, a short week that's costing me a fortune and uh, lots of good stuff up here. And then this back room he's got, he moved the dollar books and some of the kids' books uh, to this back area. And then he's got some back issue stuff and he's expanding a little bit of this. So, uh, oh, and this week he starts back with his, uh, his um, podcast. He and his son Cameron do a comic book podcast. And uh, so anyone who's, who's subscribed to that, uh, he's gonna have a new one I think coming out tonight. Uh, so anyway, let me show you where I spent my money today, uh, the things that, that I found interesting. Uh, he had a few books that, that he put aside for me from last week. Uh, Bowen Parish, I can't wait to read, got good reviews. Uh, I've got a bunch of copies of the Teen Titans uh, with the new uh, Crush, so happy to have that. They held one for me. Uh, this Star Wars, I looked at this and I just thought of Tron. Uh, I thought it was cool, so I bought it. I'm not buying the series. Uh, picked up the Venom uh, 3. Uh, this is a reprint. Uh, I believe Walking Dead came out. Excited. I think the series is interesting right now, so I am getting into reading that. Uh, John's letting me buy a whole bunch of the Super Sons, uh, Adventures of Super Sons. And, uh, of course, I've got two Super Sons at home, so I always have to buy these multiple. Infinity Wars Prime number one. Uh, this Paradise Court, uh, John talked me into, there's three covers, and uh, it's a ze xenoscope, and basically these kids are traveling across the country. John said they find this community they think is really, really nice. Uh, I haven't seen any mention of this online uh, on any of, the, uh, you know, any of the sites, so I'm going to check it out. Hopefully it's going to be pretty cool. They have three covers. Uh, one's a girl in a swimsuit cover, and one is this... Uh, uh, which I think is pretty cool. This one is my favorite cover though. Uh, so that's why I'm spending 12 bucks to check that out. Hopefully it's a good story. Uh, I, I added a couple cops to this Infinity Wars. 
and I bought this uh, Cosmic Ghost Rider variant. John gave me a little deal on that today because I was spending so much money. Thank you, John. Uh, got the Cosmic Ghost Rider 2. Uh, Farmhand from Chicago Comic Con. John had this signed, and so I added that today. Uh, Stranger Things little books. Added those. I've got a Stranger Things buddy, Jeff. Loves the show, so I'm going to pass one of those on. And then this Leviathan number one, he had a signed copy uh, ash can. He had the black and white, which I think is pretty cool. And then, of course, a copy of number one. So that's where I'm spending my cash today. Guys, thank you. It's a four and a half minute tour of the new, maybe improved, maybe not, but it's still the same Cameron's great store in Bowling Green, Ohio. Um, check out their podcast. The podcast name, John, is Cameron's Comic Cast. Co Cameron's Comic Cast. That will be issue one starting off uh, later this week. Or probably this week. Issue one for them will come out later this week. Guys, thank you so much. This is Silver Age Dave at Cameron's Comics, Bowling Green, signing out. All right, YouTube. So I'm uh, hunting Walmart today. I was talking to John at Cameron's, and he told me he happened to find his. Uh, DC 100 page giants at his store and uh, and they were da damaged up this was last night and uh, so I'm here at Walmart and I'm gonna check it all out we'll see maybe they're out all right YouTube friends that went pretty well uh, I, this is almost like a Fred Hall direct edition video I'm out you're hunting with me today so thanks for being with me um, I walked in and I couldn't find the the comics they have the weird collectible area and i didn't see them i was looking for a display rack and um and i was about to walk out i was talking to one of the cashiers that was you know her booth is like right next to it and she said no i haven't seen any comics and then i caught these out of the, out of the corner of my eye they're kind of wedged in towards the back there's other bigger stuff around them and they were just stacked these are in perfect condition um, so they had this Teen Titans Giant number one, which I don't know if this is a different cover or if they did more. It is first print. Uh, doesn't say it was another printing, but it's the giant size number one. Uh, so I picked up a few of those. I had promised a, a couple friends that I'd, I'd pick up copies. So I have a few of those. Um, you know who you are. And um, they had Justice League Giant number one. Okay, and again, I don't know if this is the one that was already released and they were holding some copies back or if it's a new something. Uh, I'll check it when I get back to my room. And then this is the one that I had heard was coming out today is the 100-page Giant Batman number one. So I did pick that up uh, and I picked up some multiples uh, I've got over here. So I'm pretty excited. I can share these with the kids now. And um, uh, so that's nice. So anyway, that's it. Guys, uh, hunting with silver, okay? Have a great day. New comic book day. Go get them. I'm thinking of you. Silver's out.